Hey guys, welcome back to an all new episode of Conflicts. Today we'll be looking at the all new Anchor Prime series with G1. Now this here is their latest setup of goodies in which they sent us to check out. Now we got three of them here, so this one here is the first one. This here is our Anchor Prime docking station. Essentially a 14 in one triple display, display link station that is literally everything you would want out of one unit. They also sent us this box here. So this here is the wireless charging station, which is a three-in-one MagGo air cool dock stand. And lastly, they sent us the Anchor Prime chargers. So this here is 160 watt, three ports, smart display. First time ever seeing that, but yeah, together we'll be unboxing it as well as trying it out. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So up first is going to be our docking station. Let's take a look. Oh, oh man. So this is everything that you get. So obviously you have your docking station, a uh, nice size. And then, you know, it's got some great material throughout it. A lot of metal, a lot of different rubber material pieces. Definitely gives it a quality, great feel. Obviously you do have your ports on the front. So you got three USB-C, uh, aux port, and then your SD as well as your micro SD card port, which is definitely a must. And then on the back, you have a lot more than that. Uh, so you'll see you have one, two, three USB-A ports. Uh, one for, it looks like keyboard and mouse, two for five gigabytes, uh, ethernet port, uh, DP port, two HDMIs, and then you have one that goes directly to the computer, and then you have the direct plug for power on the back. So this one does not have an adapter, it's literally just a wire. Next up is our wireless charging station. Oh, wow, okay, I like, I like the way that kind of comes out. This is nice, so do have a nice looking display right over there. It also comes with its own power block, as well as a USB-C to USB-C cable. It's got a good amount of stretch to it, so I guess you can reach it to an outlet and it shouldn't be a problem. All right, last but not least, we got ourselves our Anchor Prime Charger. Man, this thing is so nice looking. Almost looking like a little miniature computer is the way I would describe it. Uh, you do have a smart display, uh, three USB-C ports, and of course the power port. Pretty interesting stuff, and yeah. Pretty cool. So let's start off with our Anchor Prime DL7400 docking station. Now setting this up was quite simple. You do have to download an app based on what you're using, both Windows or as well as Mac. In this case, I'm using my Mac computer for this connectivity. Now on the front here, you do have a variety of different ports as mentioned. Um, and then you do have this nice quality display showing the time as well as the date. On the side, you have a dial. Now when you do click it, it will switch between the different screens showing the exact output of power, and then as well as our display link signal. So in this case here, a 27 inch monitor at 4K and 60 Hertz, which is this right here. It can also achieve triple display output with up to 8K at 60 Hertz, plus 4K at 60 Hertz, and 4K at 60 Hertz, making it the world's first triple display charging dock with stable 8K. We can also go into the specific ones individually. So this one's our host, C1, C2, C3. Now it also has a performance mode showing the fan cooling, has an active shield showing you how many hours of protection, and then of course our settings. Under settings, we can adjust the brightness, language, clock, screensaver, knob orientation, screen timeout, and much more. Under screensavers here, it does give you a few different options that you can pick and choose, giving you a little bit more of customization overall based on your true liking. Now, when you plug in a USB-C cord on the front here, this will automatically pull up a live reading, show a quick connectivity, and then it'll show the exact live reading readout in terms of what is happening. Now I can switch between the different menus here and kind of showing specific details in terms of amperage as well as voltage. So let's plug in another cable. All right, so once this one's plugged in here, you can see that it's definitely reading a little bit more stronger. So we're at 30.2 cumulative. Uh, again, based on what you're doing, you can see it in detail. So you can switch between them and it will give you exact readout in terms of what is happening in real time. Now, if we add on a third one, again, showing the cumulative data between all three. And then if we look at the back ports here, you can see everything currently plugged in. I did wish there was a little bit more ports in terms of our USB-A's as well as USB-C's, but these three should be more than enough to get things started. 
So this here is my original dock and uh, the newer one is definitely a lot more innovative. My older one had a lot more ports, making it more easier to use. Um, that is the only thing that I would say is a drawback. And then of course, comparing size of it, the original one that I had is a little bit more smaller, but uh, overall I'm very happy with the newer one just because it is a lot more high tech and a little bit more classier. So this here is my original charging stand. Now I'll be upgrading that with the Anchor Prime wireless charging station, AKA the world's first 25 watt wireless charger with active cooling system and built-in display. Let's go. All right, so we're all plugged and ready to go. To turn on the screen, just simply click. This will show a live readout of the screen, exactly what's happening in real time. So you have your phone, your watch, as well as your AirPod. And then when that actually starts charging, I'll go ahead and show it as well. But here's our settings. We can click this. So we have different modes. So if you click on mode, you have an ice mode, which will keep it nice and cool. Uh, boost mode, which will make it charge faster, but can overheat. And then of course our sleep mode, and then just back. Uh, we can switch. We have a screen timeout function, which we can adjust. And then we have our screen saver as well. So if we click that, so you have a moon uh, and then you can just pick and choose, <laughs> but yeah, like that. So that's kind of cool. So we'll click that. And now that is going to be our moon. And to kind of demo how this works. So we'll put our phone on the charger right here. Uh, you'll see it indicate right there and it'll show a live readout in terms of power goes. Next thing we'll put is our AirPod Pro. So we'll put that over there, just like that. And then that'll also change. And then lastly, we'll put on our Apple Watch. And you can see it's charging all three of them. Now, again, this will show an exact live readout in terms of the charging goes. Uh, you can actually hear the fan kicking on. So if you look in the back of the phone charger, you'll actually see the fan spinning. Uh, you can actually hear it too. That's pretty cool. Now, this can be positioned based on whichever way you like. So you can have it like that, down, entirely up to you. However, the Apple Watch charger is stationary. You cannot move that, it is affixed. And yeah, there you have it. Overall, pretty cool, looks really nice. And plus with the weight of the charger, it actually keeps it stationary. So if I do lift up my phone, it's not like pulling the whole thing. And the charger magnetic attachment is just enough to make it work. How cool is that? All right, so time to use our Anchor Prime charger. Now, it's considered the world's most compact 160 watt multi-port charger. This is actually a really cool charger because one, obviously it's a smart charger. Uh, it has a built-in screen that has a touch pad. That's three different ports here. And then of course it has the IQ charger plus, so it can automatically adjust based on what it's charging. Now, one thing that I really find interesting is if you plug it into the wall, it will automatically boot up which is there right there, but it's actually oriented based on the way it's positioned. So if it was up and down, it will actually rotate the screen as well. And then let's just say if you take this off and you plug it upside down, it will correct itself and always face the right way to the user. So I really like that a lot because it always gives you that right aspect of what you're seeing. Now it does have Bluetooth connectivity, so you can see right there, and then you can use the Anchor app to go and see data about what's happening in real time. Now there is a mode as well. So you hit this here and this here is our menu. So this shows each individual one. And then this will show our smart protection. So you can see where our temperature is going to be and then how it ranges. And then it also has our charging mode. So it's got AI 2.0 and then Bluetooth is currently disconnected, but yeah, pretty cool. Now I'm going to put it through a ring of charging testers here, I guess is the way I would describe it. So I have a miniature arcade, uh, ClickBot robot, uh, we have our Luna, and then we have a controller for a drone, as well as a speaker, and of course an iPad. Now, uh, the unique thing about these particular devices is that I always have a hard time charging them because they always require their own specific charger block, as well as specific charger cable. So being able to go and charge these with this should be quite interesting. Let's try it out. So we're gonna plug in our first USB-C cable here. And then uh, I guess we'll just start off with our Luna and then plug that into here. And then let's see if it starts charging. All right, so it does show that it picked up the Pacific cable and now it shows the exact reading of it charging. And that means that this guy is charging. In fact, so if I push this button here, it should show it on my display. So it is actually quite dead, but yeah, you can tell that it is charging. So. That is also a very promising note that it is in fact sending out 12 volts of power. So 
This is currently charging, so we'll just leave that there for now. And then moving on to the next, we'll plug in another cable here. And then we'll charge our ClickBot. So this one here is very, very specific on charging. So if it in fact does charge, oh, there you go. Aha. So now we're at 23.6. And then we also have a charger reading screen on here too. So that is really great. So now again, showing us two different devices, total net wattage going through it. And then for my last one here, we're going to uh, plug this here. This one is actually a smart cable uh, because it has a little display screen on the end here. So we can actually measure and see if it's in fact accurate. So this guy here is a very specific charger cable for the particular drone. Um, and then uh, we're just gonna plug this in here and let's see what the reading comes up as. All right, yep, so I do have LEDs indicated here. And yes, this is also charging, so that's great. Um, and then if you look here, this will show my exact reading. So this says uh, seven. And then if I click on here, it should say approximately seven. So yeah, 6.6. .6. So obviously this here is rounding up, uh, but you know, kind of gives you a readout in terms of how specific it is. So it is to the first decimal, so that is really nice. So it gives you that full breakdown. Again, nice, high, intelligent screen display. Now again, you know, this will show smart protection. Um, and then of course, you know, you can uh, have a specific priority in terms of charging goes. So yeah, that is great all in all. Now you only have the three ports, so just keep that in mind. So we're gonna have to disconnect something. Oh, there you go. So our Luna screen is now officially on. And yes, it does show that it is charging. So great. Uh, so I'll go ahead and disconnect the click bot here. And then I guess we'll charge our Zoltar next. Able to put it here. I go into the screen here. Nah, so it's not able to charge our Zoltar. What if I turn them on? Will that change anything? Nope. So let's try the iPad next. All right, so we have our charging indicated there. And again, I like how the screen explains what's happening. So this thing is definitely pumping a lot of juice now. So 24.6, 32.6. Well, last but not least, we will plug it into our radio here. Got an LED. Five amp. And yeah, that's working. Look at that. Yeah, out of all these, obviously the Zoltar was not able to get charged, but it's great to know that we can charge multiple devices, especially when they're very specific to specific chargers. Good stuff. All right, well, there you guys have it. Overall, really cool products. Big shout out to Anchor once again for sending over all these awesome goodies. I love the new Anchor Prime series. Definitely showcases its sophistication as well as quality throughout. If you're looking for something that is both top tier in charging and looks the part, I mean, look at this. This is definitely the way to go. And hands down, they did a great job with it. I mean, they did not spare any expense in terms of the detail aspect goes. It definitely has a really aesthetically appealing feel to it. I mean, when something is heavy duty and quality, for sure, it is well worth it. Also, the Anchor Prime 100 Creator Program is now live. Be sure to search Anchor Discovery to submit your photo or video capturing your prime moment and vote for your favorites to win amazing prizes. Now, with that said, if you guys have any questions, comment down below. Otherwise, we will see you guys in the next video. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.